Hi, I'm Susan Pickering Rothamel, and welcome to US Art Quest and our DVD called Art Craft Create because we're going to be doing art and craft and we're going to be creating all kinds of inspired art materials. And you can see how beautiful they are when they're all just buffed off. Sprinkle it all over and then just fill it in and look how beautiful that is. Point down and they can kind of come together that sort of looks like a bud but you can open it up and turn your paper instead of turning your palette knife or your hand because your arm sometimes doesn't twist into an odd shape and I like to get rid of all the straight edges because then no one knows what you really did and you simply take your beautiful mica flakes and sprinkle them on with a quick spritz you can also get a secondary image so just spritz this with water And I like the colors laying over top of each other, so don't, don't neglect to do that. You can use the same piece of paper again, because there's still lots of wax in it. Let's show you a few attachments. I showed you how to do a hinge, but I can also show you that you can drill holes in it quite easily. This can also be put right through your die cut machine. And then you punch these out like this. Let's talk a little bit about acrylic paint versus watercolor. Watercolor, when you re-wet it, you can get the color to move again. But when acrylic paint dries, it's there forever. It's a permanent paint on most surfaces. And I just took a stamp, some ink, and stamped this and then used it as my slash marks. But it's really lovely and you can poke holes in it and it won't tear out because it is virtually indestructible. So I'm going to make sure that the sun hits the top of this petal the most. 